Good morning. Welcome to The Brew. I am your host, Lex. Today, we have two special guests with us, Amy Meisner and Tom Nunnemaker from Aeromir. We're going to talk about something a little different. It's going to be a, an asymmetric iron condor um, in options trading. So we're going to break it all down. Why, how, where, all the good stuff right at the opening bell after this. We're with Tom and Amy of Aeromir. Tom, why don't you tell us a little bit about Aeromir and give us a little background on yourself. Okay, Aramir is a, uh, a community for option traders. Primarily, we do have some futures guys in there, but it's mostly option traders. Um, it's free to join. There's uh, tools, guest speakers, trading groups, forums, all kinds of stuff. Um, I started uh, back in the day uh, with uh, Shared and Mentoring, and Amy was uh, a student and then educator with them. So we've known each other for, geez, 15 plus years. And Amy's was written up in the Stocks and Commodities Magazine as the Queen of the Iron Condor years ago. Um, uh, but then Aramir is a uh, collection of not just Amy, but there's other experts with um, education services as well. Mm -hmm. um, as far as my personal background, I was an Air Force pilot, retired mm -hmm. from active duty. And um, thank, thank you for your service. Color. Yeah, thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. It was, it was a good career. And uh, now I live three miles east of the Air Force Academy. So I see the Thunderbirds at the Academy graduation every year. It's fun. I'm, well, I'm getting my pilot's license. So I'm in the middle of school mm -hmm. at the moment. Don't yeah. fly Let with me. Know if you, <laughs> let me let me know if you have questions. Oh, yeah. I have questions. <laughs> okay. What's this do? Ooh. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I want it serious, so it's it's more over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All yeah. Right. Good. Um, Amy, what about you? Uh, well, actually, I you know started my career in uh, software engineering and uh, multimedia development before the internet, so I'm really aging myself, and uh, I kind of. Um, accidentally stumbled into options trading, starting with um, uh, the Sheridan Mentoring Group and, and learning how to trade different types of option strategies there. That's where I met Tom and a, a few other good mentors. And uh, I somehow I just had a really good knack for it. And I started teaching as people started seeing I was doing really well. And over the years, I've developed uh, a number of different strategies that kind of suit my trading style. And apparently it suits a lot of people's trading style. And uh, Tom has uh, this wonderful um, community that he's built over at Aramir. It used to be called Capital Discussions. Now it's Aramir. And asked me to come on board and teach, um, you know, different workshops, trade alert services, things like that. So I've been doing that for, uh, you know, quite a number of years. I think Aramir started, like you said, six years ago. I can't believe it's been that long already. And then before that as well. Um, but uh, I've got, uh, yeah, so several workshops. I've done video courses for SMB. Uh, in the past and um, lots of uh, trade alert services and I uh, really enjoy it. And of course I, you know, that's what I do for a living. I, I trade options for a living and I enjoy teaching people. So um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Oh, good. And, okay. and let's just repeat that queen of the iron condor. Oh. <laughs> that Did was a monitor given to me. That All was right. a monitor given to me by Dan that. Sheridan actually. Um, and um, I think he's the first person who said that. And uh, then when um, I had that article written uh, by John Sar Sarkett, I don't know how, I'm not sure if Sarkett, that's how yeah. name Sarkett. Mm -hmm. He wrote an article in the Stocks and Commodities magazine and he, uh, the title was, um, you know, Amy, whatever, Queen of the Iron Condors. Amazing. Oh, was, oh my funny. gosh. That was a cartoon character on a giant prehistoric condor flying in or something. <laughs> it was really, really funny. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we we have the internal question at Trader yeah. Year, can an iron condor fly or can a condor? Well, actually, that's the interesting. It's a great question. And um, this particular one that we're going to talk about today can. It actually <laughs> it can, can fly. Yeah, I love it. it. So if it's asymmetrical, just one way, right, pilots? No, actually, I've got it. It, it goes so, in circles. Uh, it, I've actually got it so that it can fly both ways. I oh, I love, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Was, well, that was you, the trick. <laughs> you, I, are you guys ready to get into it a little bit? Sure. Okay, so here's what I like to do. Um, all different levels of folks will see this, right? So we have very beginners to very advanced, right? So what I like to do is let's just start out with just define for us what an iron condor is for the more beginner group, 
what it means, you know, that sort of thing, maybe, maybe a setup or, or, or something like that. Um, so let's, let's just tell the folks what that is first, and then we'll get into the, the little trickier version here that we're going to speak about. Is that okay? okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. You want to um, take that, Amy? Sure. I can take that. Or Tom, actually, this is, yeah, you, you do a lot of that uh, options 101 if you want to take it. For the um, I can talk about it. Sure. Go ahead. Sure, go ahead. Okay, so what is an iron condor? It's essentially a, a short put spread and a short call spread that offset each other. So it's a very popular trade for new uh, option traders. Uh, typically, they go very wide. They'll sell about a five to 10 delta on the short strikes and have an 80, 90% probability of winning. Uh, the problem with iron condors is if the market moves a lot, then you get in trouble. So most of the time the market doesn't move and it expires worthless. You get all your money, you're happy. Then uh, you do it four or five times in a row. You think I'm quitting my job. I'm going like, to sell my or mortgage my house. <laughs> and then you, you put it all in the iron condor. Market makes a big move and you wipe out all your gains and then some in, in uh, one trade. So it has risk. You know, it's a very bad as far as the risk to reward ratio. Um, but Amy's uh, asymmetric iron condor addresses that and it kind of solves some of the problems that a traditional iron condor would have. Okay. That's good to know. So, um, Iron condor. So, do you ever do the opposite side? So, you, I think you described a short iron condor where you sell both right. call and put spread. Um, do you ever flip that baby around and look for the big move and do it the opposite way, or that's just that's for rookies? Well, most of the people uh, are looking for income tri type of trades, so they're selling the condors. Um, I, I did hear a good advice from a former market maker who said, when you're learning, take any trade and take both sides of it and try to make money buying and selling it. Yep. And that's a good, good thought experiment. Yeah. That's something it sounded like came from my mouth. That was, I was a former market maker. That's why I'd say something like that. Um, interesting. Okay, good. Um, so, and, and then Amy, you came up with a little choice. So typically the iron condor, you, you, you sort of uniformly set it around the, at the money, right? Um, and uh, I think yeah, you you try a five to, delta or something like that. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Amy. Yeah. You try to, you know, normally most people are, you know, pretty adverse to big moves in the market. They're scared mm -hmm. of a big, most of the time they're scared of a big down move. Um, although the market tends to rise more often. Mm -hmm. And so they tend to go like, you know, really far away out in the wings. Um, and what it ends up happening is it has a kind of a, it, it makes people feel comfortable. It's super easy. The market will never get here kind of thing. And I'm collecting premium. Mm -hmm. um, but as Tom mentioned, it has the risk to reward ratio is, you know, for every dollar that you make, you, you, there is a chance of losing possibly $10 mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. unless you have a really narrow iron condor. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind, that's the risk of the iron condor. And um, I mean, I've traded those for many years and um, I have something called the nested iron condor that I, that's the one that they talked about in that article that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, and that was just because it was a very proactively managed condor. So you, you, you know, it, it needs, it's a, it's a, it's a type of strategy that is best managed so mm -hmm. that you don't ever end up having a large loss that takes out months of sure. profit. Okay. And so with the asymmetrical iron condor, um, this particular strategy, and I've updated it recently for today's markets, mm -hmm. um, is set up so that it, it's more like an unbalanced condor, but it has built in hedge. So it, it takes the, um, and I have a couple of, 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 a photo that might make it make a little bit more sense if you want to okay. bring up a screen. Let's, uh, let's bring that in, um, to the screen if we can. Okay. okay. Great. So as you can see here on the, on the right, a t that's what a typical iron condor looks like. So you've yep. got, um, you know, the, you're sitting kind of in the middle, your, your profit zone is, you know, in between, um, the two sides and you have a much you have a you know profit that you can make, but you have a much larger loss that you could lose. Mm -hmm. And to try to stay in that whole time to keep that whole credit is is risky because the market could move at any time. Mm -hmm. um, whereas on the left, you can see uh, the asymmetric iron condor. This is the the new version, the AIC twenty two. Mm -hmm. And I've got two different entry methods, but you can see like both the classic and the simplified method mm -hmm. allows you to make that profit in a wide window as an as an iron condor can, but it has a built in um, hedge as well as a risk management plan as the trade progresses okay. to keep the um you'll see that small line i don't know if i can point i guess i can't yeah okay. yeah you can i, I think we can see that. okay Ollie, so can you see that yeah great yeah so you can okay. see here um the what we call the t plus zero line so that's today's line so that's like a theoretical 
-hmm. what the profit and loss would be if the market moves. And you can see on a typical iron condor, it's kind of like a tiny little ball on the top of a really steep hill. And if the market moves, you can mm -hmm. lose a lot of money pretty mm -hmm. quickly. Um, and as that, you know, for this one, as time goes on, this gets um, flatter and flatter and you get mm -hmm. more into the tent, but you have to wait a long time. Yeah. With the, with the um, asymmetrical iron condor and the new version here, you mm -hmm. can see that the T plus zero line is much flatter. So even if the market makes a big move in either direction, yep. um, you're not really feeling the effect of that as much. And then on top of it, there's a, a management plan where I will manage and adjust the trade as the market moves to make sure that it, you know, stays out of trouble no matter what. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, this particular strategy is set up in a way that even if the market crashes, um, the risk management plan is set up so that you can actually make a pretty large profit in a crash. Mm -hmm. So it's probably, you know, the only type of you know, iron condor or condor style of trading right. where you can turn a crash into mm -hmm. a profit. So okay. um, that's kind of the, the the way it works. And then the simplified method, as you can see up here on top, actually has no upside risk to the upside, mm -hmm. but it, 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 you know, it foregoes a little bit of downside risk, but it still can make a profit in a crash as well. But okay. as we know, as options traders, the markets tend to move up more often than they move down. So the a setup has always been to make sure that um, because of the nature of the markets, unless I'm putting it on in a bear market, mm -hmm. um, I want to have less risk to the upside or no risk to the upside. Okay. Um, so can we go through the setups in a second or with this, how to, how to create these or no? Um, actually, that's what I'm going to be teaching in a, um, I'm going to, I actually just launched the workshop. It's okay. starting tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go over all of the details of, how to set them up, how to manage them okay. step by step, uh, going through trades Perfect. step by step. I do have a few examples in this presentation to kind of show how it reacts to market moves. Okay. Um, if you want to look at that, if I, you want me to show that. Yeah, go ahead, show that. And let me let me just ask a couple of questions um, sure. along the way here. So um, it sounds like this is a situation where we're not we're not letting these things expire, go to expiration necessarily, right? So if we have some sort of profit ability of some sort, whatever your trade plan is or exit strategy is, are we taking these off before expiration or not really? Yeah, these are taken off before expiration. I don't want to go into um, certainly not the last. Usually they're taken off within 30 days. So okay. it's a monthly campaign. So it's meant to be on and, and entered and not overlapping with other trades every okay. month. Uh, so it's kind of like a monthly income strategy. Okay. So a 30 day ish, we look out a 30 day option more or less. It's, it's more like a, you know, we put it on, but with 40 to 50 days to expiration, but okay. it's, it's taken off with, you know, two weeks to go. I got you. Okay. Um, and I never take it into expiration week because this particular type of strategy, I don't want it to have a, uh, I don't want it to get into a, a situation where you have a, a more gamma risk for this particular strategy. I have okay. other strategies where it doesn't matter and they're weekly strategies, but for this one, it's more suited as a monthly strategy. Got it. So it's not, it's not our zero DTE Nirvana yet. No, no, we do. We do that stuff over at Aramir as well as, as the, the weekly stuff. I have a, a strategy that's really popular called the A14 and that's a weekly trade. So a lot of people love those the short term making money every week instead of every month, you know, what's not okay. to like. <laughs> okay. Got it. Um, okay. So you want to go back to the slide and show us some, sure. show us another thing. Okay. Let's do that, Max. All right. So just as an example, um, uh, like, so here, here's, here's, uh, the markets moving down, maybe mm -hmm. not a crash, but maybe a correction, right? Yeah. So here's the trade. It starts off, um, this is recent, you know, August 2023. Yep. And as the market moves down, um, my, you know, plan gets triggered and I might put in an adjustment. And as you can see here on the bottom of the screen, the um, and this is the simplified method. So it's actually a little bit less smooth. But even mm -hmm. with this method, I'm still, you know, not really losing a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And the market can, might continue to go down and I might make some other adjustments. Mm -hmm. And you can see here. The market is down like 2%. This is the SPX. So it's down about 2% since entry. And that's only um, in a few days, you know, maybe a, a week or so or week and a half. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's just, you know, it's it, we're under the tent, which is where we want to be because that's where the theta is going to start coming in. Um, but it's not really 
you know, I'm not in a panic mode. If this was an iron condor, I might have been, you know, on that hill down here mm -hmm. thinking, you know, what should I do? So, and then again, it continues to move down. So now we're here 18 days in the trade and the SPX has been down, um, you know, what about three and a half percent at this point, 142 points. Mm -hmm. And um, still it's, it's not losing any more money than it really did when it was up here. So, mm -hmm. um, so the, 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 the setup, the entry as well as the management of this strategy is mm -hmm. what keeps it kind of out of trouble. Okay. And then if the market kind of comes back up, it starts to really start to, to make money mm -hmm. and you can exit out. Uh, and I don't like, I don't try to stay in these things for too long. There are people that like to, you know, mm -hmm. try to stay under the tent for a long time. I try to take my profit off um, within the 30 days and mm -hmm. just move on to the next trade. Okay. And um, is there a defined profit level, you know, X percent? Yes, there is. So, yeah. Yeah. So basically I do have a, um, a slide and then I, I wanted to show you a crash one, but I do have a slide here. Okay. Here we go. Plan capital. Okay. So for the full size um, asymmetrical iron condor, the plan capital is about $18,000. Mm -hmm. So I always put in a little buffer for an account size and there's the two different methods that I mentioned, yep. the simplified and the classic. Mm -hmm. And for the simplified entry, there's no upside risk. It's you're just correct collecting a, a nice credit. Sure. And so I just have that as a, you know, a percentage target of trying to keep at least 50% of the credit. Um, the classic entry, which is a little bit more easy on uh, some people for, mm -hmm. you know, that are always worried about the downside. Um, I, I'd go for like six to 7% of the margin, mm -hmm. so six to 7% of the 18,000 um, or, you know, times however many um, units that you have on. Right. Um, and then if there are multiple adjustments, sometimes we'll take money out of the trade. So I'll lower my margin target, okay. but the losses are, are, are generally kept lower than the profits. So with a win rate of like 85 plus percent, mm -hmm. the, um, you know, the, the equity curve is pretty smooth. Right. This is, this is a, this is a six year, um, test from 2018 to 2023. Right. But even when I was trading it live, like, when I first developed it, I did some testing and then I started trading it live in 2013 and mm -hmm. you can see the results are about the same as the right. you know, okay. commissions and slippage and everything. But just to give you an idea of how resilient it can be on a down move, uh, everybody likes to see like, you know, what, 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 what would have happened? Like, you know, what during COVID, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A pretty recent memory um, experience sure. that a lot of people had. Mm -hmm. And so obviously this is in the rut. So this can be traded in the SPX or the RUD. It could be traded in other things. Those are the two indices that I prefer. Any advantage, sorry to interrupt, any advantage to trading the the cash settled indices? Or are we worried about assignment risk at all? Um, it's not about assignment um, risk. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm closing it with 14 days to yeah, expiration. Right. It's more about just, you know, by being in an index, or, you know, futures of an index, mm -hmm. you're kind of smoothing out. You don't have to worry about earnings. You don't have to worry about right. any other announcements or any sector issues mm -hmm. with certain sectors. Uh, in addition, as you know, in the U.S., and I'm not a tax accountant, so, you know, obviously. Section 1256. Yep. Yeah, you have Section 1256. So you can be, you know, whereas if you're trading um, stock options or stocks, Mm -hmm. and you hold them for less than a year, you get hit with ordinary income taxes. Right. If you're trading, if you hold them for longer than a year, then you have that 60-40 split where only 40% is ordinary income and 60% is tax at capital gains, which here in the US is very beneficial. Mm -hmm. With an index or a future and options on those, you have the ability to get that same tax treatment, at least as of today, as I'm talking, um, with even if you're in it for a minute. So you don't have to hold it for a year. So that's the benefit, the big benefit. And then the other right. benefit, of course, is just you don't have to worry about earnings or sector sure. announcements or things or things right. like that. Okay. Um, and then so so here's the uh, uh, March COVID crash, mm -hmm. and as you can see, here's the the classic method, and it's pretty pretty smooth to to begin with. And um, let's just continue. So the next very next day, we're down four four and a half percent in the rut. So this is in the rut. So it's down four and a half percent, 65 points. And as you can see, we're like, it's just not really hurting the trade at all. Mm -hmm. um, now, granted, we, you know, we have a pretty decent amount of room on both sides when I entered it, but that's mm -hmm. the nature of the entry of the trade anyway. Mm -hmm. 
So as we continue here, um, let's see how many days is that? This is like uh, Friday, I think the mm -hmm. following Monday. So this is just like, you know, in the trade for a couple of days, we're down another, you know, we're down 8.3%, 120 points in the red is 8.3%. And you're mm -hmm. getting close to that left side of the tent. But even with that, you're still not really hurting that much. Right. That's kind of what I meant by it's very resilient, mm -hmm. um, even in a fast moving market, which as you know, when it's this fast, we also get that volatility pop. And this is a, um, it starts off as a negative Vega, mm -hmm. but as I manage it in, in these situations, when the market's going down, it becomes a positive Vega trade. Mm -hmm. So it, it stops hurting at that point, whereas an iron sure. condo, you would be really in trouble. Um, and let's just continue. So I do have a couple of tactics that I use if we get into a situation where we're getting close to this, the, you know, uh, to this area where you can hurt, get hurt and have a mm -hmm. lot of losses. I want to um, protect that. Mm -hmm. And if the market continues to go down, I have the capability of making a profit. If the market goes up, it's looking like negative theta. But um, because everything is in the same expiration cycle mm -hmm. um, under this tent, everything's under the in the same expiration cycle. Uh, there's you, you know you can't lose over here, right? Mm -hmm. So it's only the downside that you're worried about at this point. Mm -hmm. And in this particular case. Yes, the market continued down. Actually, the rut was down a total of 22% since the trade entry. And this is like, I don't know, uh, I think we started it on the 5th, and this is on the 12th. So seven days, we mm -hmm. went down 22% in the Russell 2000. And um, because of this, the way this trade is managed, not only were, were the losses kept small when they was showing a loss, mm -hmm. but also, uh, in this case, it was able to make a profit even during a okay. crunch. So that's kind of the benefit of this strategy is that it can handle, you know, a rally, it can handle a crash, it can handle the market going sideways, getting choppy or whatever. And, right. and for those that I like the simplified method where it's a little bit more bullish, I went through the same process. Mm -hmm. And even crashing here, um, it starts to turn into a positive Vega trade, and it had the same outcome. Okay, got it. So, so um, anyway, Without without giving away the secret sauce here, because we want people to come to the, the the webinar and pay some money to this, um, are you able to tell us? You know, is it is it four legs in this asymmetric on condor? Are you able to kind of give us some shed some light on that? Is it an extra unit? Well, it's an, an unbounced condor is four legs, like a regular condor, but yeah. it's but I have a few extra pieces that I put on depending okay. on if it's the classic method or the um, mm -hmm. uh, or the uh, the new simplified method. Um, it's still very simple, but the, the big secret sauce is, I guess, in the, you know, just managing it, being more proactive and, mm -hmm. and putting on doing certain, making certain adjustments when certain things happen. Um, and it's, mm -hmm. so it's a, it's, it's a rules based or like, a, you know, it has certain guidelines that if this happens, this is what you do. Right. And if you kind of stick within those guidelines, mm -hmm. it tends to work out, you know, 85 to 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. And you can turn a crash into a profit. It doesn't always work that way, but sure. the main thing is that you're leaving. You know, you're 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 keeping the losses small, mm -hmm. um, and you're trying to keep the losses smaller than the wins, and mm -hmm. that's what gives it this nice, you know, growth chart. Sure. Um, whereas with an iron condor, if you do take a loss, and you're if you're not careful, that those losses are generally larger than the wins, and they can mm -hmm. kind of wipe out several wins in a row. Right. And so that's kind of what this was developed to combat is to, okay, well, how can we create um, something that's still very simple that people like to trade, but make it much more resilient for the markets moving around and not having those big hits on the, on your account. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then you mentioned earlier that your loss stop out in your head, whether it's in your head or, or systematic, is you never go more than the credit you receive, right? Uh, for the simplified method, I would never go more than the credit I received. Mm -hmm. And for the um, uh, the classic method, it's it's generally just because of the nature of the the, ma the management, mm -hmm. um, you you probably won't have anything more than a seven percent unless you don't do anything. But if you follow right. the guidelines, uh, the losses should would aren't going to be lower than seven percent. I think I have like some yeah. statistics here, okay, um, where you can see that the average wins and the average losses are pretty close. Yeah, let's go back to this to the slide. This one? Oh, which one? Oh, yeah, we have to show it. We have to there share it. Go ahead. Is this one? No, you're good. Max has to share the slide. That's all. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, which one did you go. want? Okay, me to go ahead. Sorry. Okay. 
Now, uh, go back again and tell me what you, you just said. And point, oh, this made. one. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, yeah. So as you can see here, uh, this is over six years and the average win is a little bit higher than the average loss. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the largest win and largest loss are pretty close. Yep. Um, but you can see with 33% max consecutive wins and only two max consecutive losses mm -hmm. and these types of ratios, uh, you're, that's what, you know, gives it this nice smooth uh, growth chart. Um Mm -hmm. over time so as opposed to something you know that might be i think i might have it no i don't have anything like that in here um okay. you know as opposed to some strategies where you know you might end up making money over time but in the mean you know you're you're kind of chopping up and down um over time and it's just a little bit more mm -hmm. um you know stressful i should say i guess okay cool cool um really all right i like it um i yeah and you're and you i think i remember you said your profit target is 50% of max profit, 50 to 90, I think. On the simplified method, since there's no upside risk, yep. um, you know, like if you had like a big move, like a big gap up or something like that, mm -hmm. um, the target is 50%, but you could try to go for, you know, could get up to 90%. Okay. Um, I, when I do my testing and my trading, I just look for a 50% tar target. So if we have a big gap up and it gets over that, great. If it's, if it hits 50%, I'm probably just going to close it out. Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of trying to keep it within a certain guideline so that I'm not ending up getting whiplashed back and forth. Sure. Got and, it. and, you know, but the nice thing is with the simplified method is that, um, you know, if you're in a bull market uh, or even in, you know, even in a crash where you have these, you know, a lot of times you'll have these reversals, mm -hmm. uh, you can get out of a trade like, you know, the same day or the next day. Mm -hmm. um, if we have a big enough move and it doesn't even have to be that big of a move. Whereas the classic entry is much more smooth, um, especially to the downside, but it's not, you know, the simplified method is still pretty smooth to the downside. This one's just a little bit more, but you have um, a little bit more to manage and mm -hmm. um, you have to wait longer to take your profits. Okay. Great. Great. On that one. Nice. Um, and this is the, these are the things that, that your members will learn, right? If they, sign up for Aramir and, and your service. Is that, is that yeah. right? Yeah, we have, uh, I think this class is starting tomorrow. Okay. So what we do is I'll, I'll do, you know, live sessions so that I can, people can ask questions and I answer the questions. And then if people want to join now, which is the best time to do is live, we have discounts. And then if, you know, they miss out and don't get a chance to join it live, uh, they can still sign up and watch the recordings. Um, okay. And we have a, a, a a website link or whatever if you want to share that as well for the okay. upcoming class if anybody's interested yep that's awesome and then tom you said that you don't charge for aramir did i hear that correctly at the beginning right it's a free community so people can sign up and get access to our weekly trading groups forums tools all that stuff guest speakers and then if they want to pay for a gold membership that gives them full access to the library they can download files mm -hmm. and then uh, there's experts like amy uh, that have trade alert services, classes, workshops that they can also get, but that's not required. Right. The community is free. Okay. But uh, getting to the high, you know, understanding what this asymmetric iron condor is and all the, 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 the minutia, you have to pay for that part of it. I'm assuming. That's a, that one's a paid workshop, right? Yep. Got it. Okay. See Molly, you can't get anything for free, Molly. You hear me? I was, I was gonna work it. I was gonna work it in about a hot five minutes, but you were gonna work hot five oh. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> put a condor on with a long put, and you're kind of in the ballpark, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. There you I'm go. Sure you could be, I'm sure you could figure it out. I, I, know, I was gonna work the the dog angle. My dog's behind me. There's one behind you too on a on a painting. So. Yeah, he's in. The, he's in the, yeah, he's just down. All Listen. right. Well, good. Amy's into uh, dog competitions with agility. Oh, jeez. Right. Oh, wow. Really? Molly's in the surf competitions with agility. Right. I don't know about <laughs> agility. I wouldn't say agility. It's more drowning. <laughs> <laughs> or not drowning. Or not drowning. Or not right. drowning. All opinions expressed by Tradier Hub contributors are solely the contributors' opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Tradier nor its affiliates and or subsidiaries. You should not treat any opinion expressed by Hub contributors as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or to follow a particular strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. The contributors' opinions are based on their own personal research, but neither Tradier nor its affiliates and or subsidiaries warrants its completeness or accuracy, and it should not be relied upon as such. Any trades or positions discussed or referred to by contributors may or may not be actually 
actual live trades or positions. Such information is not intended to be a financial or investment advice. Trade Your Inc. is the parent company of Trade Your Brokerage Inc. Trade Your Brokerage Inc. and Trade Your Inc. are separate entities with their own products and services. Securities products and services are offered through Trade Your Brokerage Inc. Trade Your Brokerage Inc. is an independent subsidiary of Trade Your Inc. All rights reserved. Member FINRA SIPC.